This is my blog, danielwatress.com. I'm running on WordPress 2.92, which is the latest. I tend to upgrade and whenever the little sign comes up up at the top, and I've never had a problem with that. I'm using some plugins for uh, running uh, backups and different things. But today what I want to show you is uh, just the, the, the simplicity of creating a post. I've got a lot of my clients that are asking for uh, the details of how to post to their WordPress blog. So right off the bat, you go to your blog uh, URL, type wp-admin, and that brings you to a dashboard on the back end. And the dashboard right off the bat uh, lets you know how many posts, tags, comments, and so on. I've already been through my uh, pending and spam comments today. Uh, and then it shows you some of your recent comments, so you can go and see if people have been uh, adding things to your site, if you want to reply to different things. I tend to reply to comments. Uh, I like the, the idea of having a conversation on my blog. Um, anyway, there are two different things you can post. Well, I mean, there are several different things, but the two primary things are one, uh, you can create a post, or two, you can create a page. The difference between a post and a page is that a post ends up as, um, as part of the, the the continuity or the stream of, of information that's going through your blog. A page is more of a static snapshot in time. The, there's not a, a really important date associated with it. Um, and so a page would be a good choice for about us or contact us or a privacy policy or terms and conditions. Posts would be more of the natural day-to-day -day information that you post on your blog uh, that represents the interests of the people that are, that are reading your blog. Um, you'll notice also up here in the top right, there is a button that says New Post, and if you use the little uh, arrow over on the right, you can create a new page um, and you know go to a few uh, hot spots. Uh, there's also this Quick Press. So if you've just got something real quick you want to put up on your blog, you don't have to click on any buttons around here. You just type in Title, the Content, and the Tags. And I'm in Chrome, so you can even, you know, in Chrome, just make that... Uh, that box a little bigger. Uh, at any rate, once you click New Post, you're brought to the New Post page. And there are really only two required pieces of information. One is you type in uh, the, you know, the post title, and that could be like the subject of an email, uh, and, and then this would be the body, the actual content of the post. Um, and really, it doesn't have to be any harder than posting or, or writing an email in Gmail, for example. Anyway, this is the post body, and that's it. And uh, then you're ready to, to go. If you click this little blue publish button over here, uh, then it's live. If you happen to have a membership site through Memberwing, for example, and you want some free uh, copy, then you type free uh, post body. And then you type paid content. Uh, so whatever you want paid comes after this marker. And you know, of course, these markers: uh, a single plus would be bronze, two pluses would be silver, three would be gold, and four would be platinum content. So you could potentially have four levels of, of uh, content, or five actually: free, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum in a single post. Uh, at any rate, that's uh, that's how e easy it is, and then you click publish. Now there are a lot of a lot more options that you can go through. Uh, for example, you can add some tags. If you click this little button, choose from popular tags, it'll show you some of the different tag options that you've got. You can also choose a category for it. Otherwise, it'll default to uncategorized. Uh, visibility, you can make it public. You can have it stick to the top of the front page. You can password protect it. You can make it a private post only. Um, you can manually change the status back and forth, and you can also schedule publication uh, in the future. Uh, so, so those are those are some of the options over on the sidebar. Take a look at those, fiddle around with them. Again, you don't need to do any of that. You can just post. Um, you can add custom fields, and one custom field that is interesting for MemberWing is the maturity date. If you add a maturity and then an integer or a number value. It will, lim it will limit that to people who've been members for that many days. You can also, under discussion here, uh, uncheck the comments and trackbacks, which will disable comments on this post. So there are a few things you can do with uh, WordPress.